hello students i will make video series on the next topic that is centroid so in this video i will discuss uh, the basics of centroid and the centroid of regular areas so let us first uh, discuss the definition of centroid the plane figures such as triangle rectangle circle etc have only areas but no mass the center of area of such figures is known as centroid so in order to find the centroid of any regular area uh, the most common method is uh, let us take one example let suppose we have a rectangle and uh, i want to find its uh, uh, centroid so the most common method is that first of all you should see is there any axis of symmetry in that area now if i talk about this uh, rectangular area then there are there is one axis of symmetry here if i draw a line here then this line will divide this rectangle into two equal halves upper half and lower half both have same shape and size so i can say this is axis of symmetry for the uh, rectangle let me call this as axis 1 now we are sure that centroid of this particular area will definitely lie somewhere on this axis of symmetry so this is the first point to note that if we have an area and uh, if that area has one axis of symmetry then we are sure that centroid will lie somewhere on that axis of symmetry but if any area has at least two axis of symmetry then the intersection of those two axis of symmetries will give you the centroid of that area like like in this example i can draw one axis here here as well and this axis will divide this area into two equal halves left half and right half both are of same shape and size so i can call this uh, axis as second axis of symmetry for this particular area now the intersection of these two axis of symmetry will give you the centroid of that particular area so this thing you should keep in your mind that whenever you are dealing with any area try to find out that is there any axis of symmetry if there is one axis of symmetry it means the centroid will lie somewhere on that axis of symmetry if that particular area possesses two axis of symmetries then intersection of those two axis will give you the centroid for that particular area so let us uh, next talk about the centroids of some common regular areas so let us start with the rectangle again so over here one rectangle is shown whose length is l and uh, its uh, width is b now uh, we have just learned that uh, if there are two axes of symmetry the intersection of those two axes will give you the centroid now in case of uh, rectangle we can draw the diagonals as well when you will draw the diagonals actually these diagonals divide the rectangle into two equal halves so i can call these two also as axis of symmetry so their intersection uh, will give you the centroid so it means in case of a, a rectangle centroid will always lie at l by 2 if total length is l then it will lie at l by 2 and if total uh, width is b it will lie at b by 2 so centroid of rectangle is at l by 2 and b by 2 if we talk about triangle then in case of triangle what do you have to do suppose we are given right angle triangle then in case of right ang angle triangle let us say the base of the triangle is mentioned as b units and height of the triangle is h units so in order to find the centroid of right angle triangle what you can do from base you should draw one line at a distance of h by 3 means if height of the triangle is h and we are considering this as base then from that base draw one line parallel to its base and that line will be at h by 3 from its base h by 3 is where h is the height of the triangle then after that what you will do consider this side of the triangle as base means h units as base and b units as height then from this particular base draw another line which is parallel to this base and that line is at a distance of b by 3 from the base because this time we have considered this h units as base and this b units as height so from this base we have drawn one line which is parallel to this base and which is at a distance of b by 3 from this base where b is the height so the intersections the intersection of these two lines will give you the centroid so always remember that whenever we are dealing with a triangle from base you can draw one line at a distance of h by 3 where h is the height fine if that triangle has another base 
then consider that side as a base then opposite side will be the height then from that base draw another line at b by 3 the b over here we are considering as height if you are considering h as base so intersection of those two uh, axes uh, those two lines will give you the centroid now in case of semicircle after drawing the semicircle then you should first see is there any axis of symmetry yes in case of semicircle we always have one axis of symmetry this axis so this per vertical axis divide the semicircle into two equal halves so we are sure that centroid will lie somewhere on this axis but where it will lie so from base if the radius of the uh, semicircle is r units then from base draw one line parallel to its base which will be at a distance of 4 r by 3 pi from its base so this line will intersect this x of symmetry so that intersection will be the centroid of semicircle so one thing to remember whenever we are dealing with the centroid of a semicircle draw its vertical center line first then its a centroid always lies from base along that axis by a distance of 4 by 4 r by 3 pi where r is the radius of the semicircle then in case of quarter circle what do you have to do uh, if r is the radius of the quarter circle then consider this side as base first from this side draw one line parallel to this side and the distance between this line and this side will be 4r by 3 pi then take this side then from this side draw another line which will be parallel to this side and distance between this line and this side is again 4r by 3 pi where r is the radius of the quarter circle so where these two lines are intersecting that will give you the centroid of the quarter circle so we have discussed a few uh, regular areas there are more areas uh, for which you should know the centroids like uh, uh, trapezium uh, then ellipse so you can uh, uh, you must remember the centroid of those areas as well so after this video i will uh, take one problem first on symmetrical sections uh, i will discuss few problems on symmetrical sections how to find the centroid uh, of the composite areas where uh, one x of symmetry is there then uh, we will discuss uh, uh, how to find the centroid of uh, composite areas where there is no axis of symmetry so uh, you must watch those videos as well thank you very much